In this month's edition of Hoofbeats Tack to Track, presented by Jax, trainer Nancy Johansson shows how to put on and check a bridle for proper fit on two-year-old filly, Mary Hanover. So the first thing we would do is braid her foretops to make sure that none of her hair gets in her eyes when she is out on the track. And it keeps all the hair out of her face and out of her ears while she's on the track. You use a little rubber band or a little piece of black tape. The next thing that would go on is your race halter or cabison, as some people call it. but not too tight, I would say you want to be able to fit your two fingers between. And then as far as the length of it goes, you want to make sure that it's not cutting off her airway. Her airway would go here, so you want to take a half inch. Okay. So first things first is you're going to kind of feed the bridle over her head. I mean, there's different types of overcheck bits. It will depend on how much the horse hangs in their overcheck or, or not. I mean, there's other horses that you have to put a tie down on to so keep their head too high, but it keeps their head in a good position for them. And just kind of put the braid to the side. And you're going to take your throat latch. And you want the throat latch to be, you know, so you can fit your hand through here. It's not too tight because you don't want to cut her airway off. And then this bridle actually fits her pretty well. So by her mouth here, to make sure that the bit's not too tight, you want about three wrinkles. If you make it too tight, it'll pull on her mouth too much, so it kind of moves a little bit nicely. So you want to make sure your lines are straight. Your drivers will appreciate that. And um, different from riding horses, always hook bridles as, uh, the lines inwards. With standards, we hook the line outwards. So you go through the back. These are your head pole rings, your head pole foot attacher. You want to make sure that they're underneath of the nose band so they don't interfere with the bridle. And then you also want to keep them in front of the, the, uh, the open cheeks. The overcheck hooks to the water hook here on the harness. So I like long overchecks on my horses, especially to jog, because it lets them use their back muscles a little more. So you want it just in a comfortable position where her head, her withers, and her maybe the top of her head are kind of even. So actually this overcheck is pretty good. But you know when she goes to race she might need a little shorter overcheck. The good rule of thumb is you kind of want the overcheck to maybe be a couple inches longer than their nose. So something like that. Now she's ready to go out. So this top velcro part is going to fit on the brow band. And then we're going to stick this around the open cheek. Same on the other side. Now this visor is supposed to help horses that are afraid of dirt hitting their face, as well as combining it with a blind bridle. Just like that. And then we're going to stick these 
straps underneath of the open cheek like that. The other one on the other side. And we're just going to fasten them on the snap. So the visor, I mean, with this sitting in the brow band, it should just sit right over her face with the holes approximately you know, level with her eyes. 